Hi guys and welcome to a new episode on the channel. Today we'll be starting the first episode of today's series, Shun's DIY, which is just short for SDIY number one, episode number one, The Hyperloop. I hope you enjoy this ep episode and this whole series. And well, let's just get started, alright? Yeah, it sounds good. Yeah, yeah me too. <clears throat> now, in 2013, or probably 2015, but... We, I don't have enough research for this, but still, let's just call it 2013. Elon Musk, Elon Musk said, announced that there will be, there will be a Hyperloop competition. Now, what is a Hyperloop? Now, a Hyperloop might, may sound like from a sci-fi movie, sci-fi movie, the Hyperloop, Hyperloop, sci-fi. Um, and like in a theater and everyone is watching, the Hyperloop. Yes, sci-fi, the Hyperloop. But however, it's actually a real scientific term. It's based, actually, you can make it on your own way. First, you just, since it's called DIY, I'll just draw these things that you need. First, you need coil wire, a, a copper wire, some a long one. You have to get a, so long that I have to draw and draw again and again and again and again and again. And, again. and just how long it's supposed to be. Yes, I cut it. And then you need batteries. If you want, if you want to, you can have three batteries. Wait, wait, wait! I want, I wanted this. If you want, you can have three batteries of different types. But you need, but the size of the battery has to be AA. And then you need magnets, magnets that are circular, and also not that thick. And this is your procedure. Now, first, screenshot this, and then you will understand what it is. Oh, wait, AA. No screenshot. All right, here's the procedure. All right, step one. Step one, get all that coil, that copper wire, and then try and then make it into a loop. Make it into a long loop. Now, usually, if, you, if you're an adult and if you have this machine, this is, that, 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 well, if you have, if you're like one of those high-tech guys, you shouldn't really use like one of those machines one of those machines where it turns, like there's the long pole, and then like there's a switch where there's a switch that will turn that machine. And then by that way, by that way, you can use that to coil, to make the coils of the copper, of the whole, of, of the whole track. Yeah, this is, and when you get a long piece of it, when you get a long piece of it, Gets loads of pieces of, of these copper wires. There you go. Then make some platforms. Like, make some platforms like uh, this, this, like times two, or some racetracks. And also get some tunnels there. Get some tunnels, about two of them. Some, well, it's like some things that go make you go up times two again, so you can go over one and then go down, and that's basically it. Now that now that's the step yeah, that's step one to two, and yeah. Now for the racetrack. Now for this time, I won't be coil. I won't be using the copper wire for for these twirls again. I won't be doing that twirls again because it's so hard. So my hands starting to hurt. So I'll be just doing them with little lines. First, get some of these coils around, oh, sorry, around all of those into a racetrack. Then do a second one, and then end somewhere, end it somewhere, and then add and then add another one on top of it. Then go down and shut that here, shut that here, and then and then go and do another coil. And if you want to, you can actually put them in different ways. You can put it like with some of those, like some of those. Tunnels, come on, tunnels. Or you can also do it. Also, you can also do it with one of those like little high things, so that you can you can actually alter it. You can actually alter, try, um, you can alter it like. Let's erase this part, and then you can alter it like this. Go up, connect, fly down connect like that that's your choice now that you got this racetrack let's get into the series part 
in the zero part. First, get the batteries. First, get the batteries. Three types of batteries, but their size has to be AA. Come on, come on. AA plus negative. Get the magnets. Get the magnets. And then stick, and then let them get attracted, attracted to each side of the magnets. Each side, each side of these magnets is like these parts. Let let the magnet go onto these parts, attract them, and then and then you are ready to put it onto your onto your racetrack. Now this is how it works. Now this is how it works. How the hyperloop works. First of all, let me first do it. Yeah, yeah. First of all, your your racetrack, I'll just do a little orange line for now. Like this. Like this. Now, first of all, you put you put your you put your magnet, put your battery with the magnets right here and then and then because and then if you if you want it to be steady first put a piece of paper on the ground under one of the side of the magnets on then get a string to tie on and pull that paper so that so that um first of all yeah i better i better do it a little bit smaller yeah yeah like that and then when you pull that when you pull that piece a string it will pull the paper letting go letting go of letting go of the magnets because of the friction and then and then that magnets that battery with the magnet will go around and whiz around the place. Now this is how it works. First of all do it back to ten. This is how it works. The coils the coils on the copper wires the coils on the copper wires are attr are attractments. Are attractments. They have a little push that goes on with some, you know, of those repellings. So when the battery goes in, when the batteries go in, when the batteries go, hey, hey, use this. Battery comes in. The here's the battery. You you get the magnets and the magnets actually repel it, repel, repel it. So it propels it to move forward. And this is just for those lines with for those just and the outside lines. If you want it, if you want to see how it works in the inside of the coils, this is how it works. First of all, first of all, inside the coils, inside the coils. The magnets, the magnets repel on both sides, levitating it. Now, first of, now first of all, this is the magnet, and these are the, that's the battery, and this, these are the magnets. Now, the magnets, the magnets are actually are, are, are pushing, are pushing on either sides of the coils, and the coils are pushing on the other side, like they're. That like they're levitating each other, and that's exactly what they do. You can't see it, but if you look closely into like slow mo the action, you might see levitating a bit. And that's how the coil, the things in the tunnels actually work. And that's how the hyperloop works. The hyperloop also is also in tubes, so you better get some tubes, or you don't need tubes. You don't need tubes for this experiment, but if you want to, since hyperloop has tubes and ha needs tubes, well, you can just get the tubes. And also, one benefit about the hyperloop is that it's eco-friendly. You can use it whenever you want. Um, you can use it whenever you want. So you can actually use this for science fair or something, but if but it's pretty expensive to get all the all the materials. Even even the DIY, even if you try to make a homemade one, it's still expensive. But however, you should still try it. Also, tr yeah, that's how it works. Next time you do a science fair, this might win you a first prize. Ugh. Yeah, this is what will make you win a first prize in science fairs or something like that. 
Now, that's basically the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. Please like, share, and subscribe to this video if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next episode. Shun, oh, Shun Han out. Peace. Um... Thumbs up. Do all these things to get new things. See ya!